My name is Shane Darlington. I'm the founder and general manager of Motor Marine. So Motor's been going since 2010, so nine years strong. I'm a uh, boat builder shipwright by trade and I've been doing it for over 17 years. When I turned 16, I joined the VMR and did marine rescue and I spent over a decade driving rescue boats and working my way up and got to sample yeah, multiple different vessels, mainly catamarans. Spent at least a decade driving shark cats and large Kevlar cats, so got to work out what made a boat work and where are the, some of the faults and obviously being in rescue, you get to see all the boats come unstuck and things break, so you get to learn. From the day that I stepped foot in a rescue boat and I was taught how to drive them, and, you know, I got a lot of time for the, the old shark cat, Bruce Harris. I mean, I'd been out some pretty hairy rescue boats and I, I thought, you know, my life was going to end at one stage, but the shark cat pulled through and you look around and all the rescue boats were all cats and we're out there and they're a good working platform, two engines, lots of fuel. You've got to learn how to drive them, they're different to the monohull. We teamed up with Scott Robson a few years ago, excellent, one of the world's best hull designers. Then we moved into the world of cats, he got me into catamarans um, with his specialty as being an yeah, excellent cat designer. Um, and with my experience in marine rescue, yeah, we've put all our design onto paper and built some excellent performing cats. It is a true 7.8 metre hull, plus the step on the back, plus the bow sprit and anchor. So overall it's 8.6. Its beam is 2.5. Um, we kept the waterline nice and wide. It's the same waterline beam as our 2.9 beam vessel. However, we did a tumble home and kept the beam at 2.5 so it's legally trailable. Its weight, it's, it's good for a uh, Land Cruiser 200 with a GMM upgrade. It's a full cab with a walk around. It, um, it's got the room inside, all the creature comforts, but you can still safely walk around with grab rails easily up to the bow. You feel like you're inside you know, a larger cruiser. It's got all the creature comforts to do weekenders. You had toilet and shower, which into a sump pump. We've got a portable fridge underneath the side bench seat. Um, it's got a 120 litre water tank, whale hot water system, good bonus too. In a trailer boat, we can get a 2.1 metre high ensuite, so you can have a proper shower, plenty of room, and then you fit a double inner spring mattress on the starboard side. I mean, you can't do that in a monohull. From midship south, it is purely a hardcore fishing vessel and built uh, the way we would build as a survey boat. So everything's you know, built tough, uh, overbuilt, but looks pretty. You get so much more real estate on board, um, the ride quality, the manoeuvrability, uh, having the engine split wider gives you the ability to spin it around. If you go joystick, it's even, even better again. Uh, fishability, you've got the platform out the back. Between the engines, you can fish right out the back. Um, it's got a five mil bottom, um, four mil sides, four mil frames. Uh, it's fully foam filled as well, so we run our buoyancy foam in all our vessels up to 10 metres. Um, you don't have to, but you're mad if you don't. It helps with vibration and sound, and, and they ride like glass boats. These things, these, our, our boats do not ride like your typical aluminium boat. They're nice and quiet. Uh, it's got twin 280 litre fuel tanks on the floor. It's, it's a long range boat, and with the fuel data, we've worked out at good cruise speed, you can easily reach 550 to 600 kilometres at about 25 knots, so it's a, a long range vessel. So with the design, we style was the number one well, one of the main priority with this is to get the right. I can't stand having an ugly looking boat, but at the same time, we've designed it in such a way that it's smooth. Uh, they're, they're fairly straight, but due to the extra welding, we just skim it down um, with micro balloon. So we don't use the car bogs and all the other cheap paints that a lot of the other guys, we use full international all grip systems, proper epoxy. The paints that you'd use on a super yacht, you spend a bit more money on the product, but yeah, four man pays twice. Our customer, um, of this particular vessel. He's opted for a Suzuki Simrad package. We went for the 175 APX. Excellent package with the fly-by-wire. Uh, great fuel economy. They're smooth, they're reliable. You get no vibration, you get no harmonics, you don't get any drones. It's currently doing 42 knots wide open throttle. Its best fuel economy is actually around 5,300 and that's at 37 knots and we get a litre per kilometre. So. When the lean burn kicks in, you just really notice a difference. And um, yeah, and that's what's going to give us a you know, 580, 600 kilometre range. Today we're out in you know, 35 knot winds in a one and a half metre chop, and I was sitting on top rev limiter, so, and it's nice and calm.
obviously the floor's a lot higher in them. It goes back at a good rate of knots. This one here hasn't got a um, transom door, it's got open gate. Even backing up into the slot today, you know, very rarely you take a little bit of water, it goes straight back out. For the Simrab, we've got a pair of NSS um, Evo 312s uh, with the autopilot hooked up to a Sea Star um, power assist pump, so the boat's got power steering. It just adds to the feel of an you know, awesome package with light steering, turns like a ski boat. So a lot of people don't like our product, they said, oh, it's too, too leery for a a fishing boat but our customers are the opposite they want a good looking boat they want to feel good in the product and while they feel good in the product the ride backs up the looks